Should you have surgery for your endometriosis? And if so, did you know that excision surgery is gold standard, not ablation? Listen up. Let's find out today if you should have surgery for your endometriosis. And let's add into this question too. Should you be having a hysterectomy? Do you need a hysterectomy? Let's take a look. So I'm a fellow endo warrior myself. I have this disease and I've become very passionate about treating patients with it and raising awareness on the topic. Research has concluded that complete excision of this abnormal tissue is the gold standard treatment. And that reminds me of the game or the claw hook device that we see to try to pick up the toys and the machines. You go in and you remove the actual endometrial tissue. That is what excision surgery is versus ablation where they are basically frying that tissue, which can lead to other problems such as scar tissue and for it to return or come back later even worse. This is where you, I need you to work really hard to be an advocate for your health and ensure that questions are being asked before you have any type of surgery being performed. It's common for endometriosis to be missed by many general surgeons, OBGYNs, and they don't, they simply just don't have the advanced training or they are not doing enough excision surgeries in a month. It's common for someone to be doing 25 or more surgeries in a month to really hone in and fine tune their skill of excision surgery. So researching the provider is number one. I can tell you right off the bat, one thing you need to do I've included in today's show notes, my favorite resource, which is Nancy's Nook. You can hit find a provider and find one that specializes in this surgery. I want to also say, do not be afraid to travel. My patients have traveled six to 12 hours to have this performed because there's nobody in our area that does it or does enough to be proficient in this skill. So I encourage you to not be afraid to travel to get this performed. Unfortunately, many women have undergone a hysterectomy and still suffer. If that's you, I want to encourage you to still seek out a opinion and consult with an excision specialist because there is relief for you on the other side of this if the hysterectomy was not enough to take care of your symptoms. We know that lesions can be found bowel, lung, nerve, and other locations. So another symptom we commonly see is Women that have been diagnosed with IBS, in fact, actually have endometriosis that's causing those symptoms. Another important factor to keep in mind for treatment is that medication or hormonal treatments will be used to alleviate your symptoms, but do not stop the progression of endometriosis from happening. When my endometriosis was first discovered, I actually had an ablation performed and it came back. The unfortunate part of this technique of ablation is it does not stop the disease. It still lives inside of you and is not removing it from happening. Eradication to restore normal anatomy and preserve your organs is imperative and possible with excision surgery. The good news is about this method is that reoccurrence rates are really low. And this procedure is done by a skilled surgeon. It can sometimes remove it altogether for women and improve your quality of life, your fertility, and more. It can also improve sexual function, quality of life, and that pelvic pain or discomfort, low back pain that you've been having that no one can seem to find the answer to what is causing it. Keep in mind, you have to have a team approach to endometriosis. For me and my patients, this looks like pelvic floor physical therapy, acupuncture, and more. There's lifestyle things that you can implement into your daily, weekly, or monthly routine to help with this disease. My hope is to empower you to advocate for your health, even if you've seen 14 providers make an appointment with the 15th and have it be an excision specialist. If you like today's video, make sure to hit like, share, and subscribe with women all over that you know might be having some of these symptoms or have endometriosis and have not found the proper care team yet for them. Do not give up hope. There's still hope out there to help alleviate and improve your symptoms.